totally have a unicorn. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to take a quick look at how to use ice tables to work out things like pH of a weak acid or other systems that might use an equilibrium that gives us an amount of material at the end of a process or when it reaches its equilibrium. Um, our typical method for doing that is using an ice table. So I was going to take an example today that described the action of vinegar, which has one particular acid that we know of as acetic acid. Acetic acid has two ways you can write the formula. So we can write it more molecularly. It says it's a carbon chain. Or we can write it inorganically and simply identify that it gives off a hydrogen ion. What we know about acetic acid in, in store containers, that's typically about 7% in a vinegar sample. So 7% of the mass is acetic acid. The rest of it is the rest of the solution. And we can actually calculate a pH for that without the need of a pH probe or any indicator test. So first thing we'd need to do is to take that vinegar and convert it back to a known amount of acetic acid in a more chemical way, by molarity. So I'm going to take this 7% vinegar by mass, and I'm just going to assume a certain minimum mass of solution. So if I had 7 grams to 100 grams, that would be my 7% by mass. We can also think of that as 70 grams per 1,000 grams of acid per grams of solution, which is a nice simple conversion to get us into molarity because we know 70 grams of acetic acid would have a certain molar amount associated with it. So if we added up the components of the acetic acid molecule, we get a mass of 60.02 grams per mole. And where is that 70 grams or that certain mole percentage found? In 1,000 grams of solution, which we're going to assume is mostly water, which means purposely by this design, one liter of solution. And that would leave us in a molarity of our acetic acid. So we could run that through, and there's 70 over 60. So we're going to be over a little of a mole per, oops, sorry. Well, you guys can run that calculation out. And so we have our molarity of our acetic acid to start. I'm going to pause it for a moment.